everyone, my name is Cole, and today's EdJoin Quick Tip video will focus on adding attachments to an application. Let's get started. Once you are on the attachments page of an application, you will want to start by reviewing the requirements of the job posting. In this example, the agency I'm applying to is requiring a letter of introduction and a resume. It is also important to note the EdJoin file requirements when uploading a document. Acceptable file formats include PDF, JPEG, GIF, RTF, and TXT. Each file must not exceed 1 megabyte or 1024 kilobytes in size. The file name must contain less than 50 characters. If the file name contains more than 50 characters or any special characters, you may have trouble attaching your documents and or the agency you are applying to may have trouble viewing them. Please make sure your document title only contains letters and numbers. Towards the bottom of the attachments page, you may notice some documents that you had previously added to your document library. To add any of those documents to the application, simply check the box to the left of each attachment and click the Add to this application button at the bottom left. You should now see those documents listed under Attachment Details, which indicates they have been added to the application. To add attachments that have not been previously uploaded to your document library, simply click the Upload New File button at the bottom left of the screen. The page will refresh and an Add a New Attachment dialog box will open. Click the Browse button to search for the file saved on your computer. Select an attachment type using the Type drop-down menu. Select the appropriate radio button for either adding the attachment to this application only or adding it to an application and your profile, your document library. Click the Add Attachment button. Lastly, scroll to the top of the screen and verify your document is listed under Attachment Details. This indicates it has been added to the application. We hope you found this quick tip video helpful when adding attachments. Thank you for watching and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.